Welcome back to the Lego Fortnite Home Channel. I'm your host, Jammer GFX, but I'm here as Fish Sticks. You can call me Pescado. First of all, thank you for joining us today on this stream, as well as on the YouTubes and the TikToks and whatnots. Um, but today, I'm going to give you a tour of these beautiful homes located all over Lego Fortnite World. Please come in. First of all, we stepped right into a gated community. And right off the bat, as soon as you step in, you just walk into the middle of the town plaza or the square. All right. Now, this is called Perfect Parks. And you can see why they're called Perfect Parks because it is just a beautiful sight. As soon as you come in, you have these nice little benches that you can sit down with all your friends. But as well, you have a lot of space to continue to build more if you decided to. Okay. Now, this project has been a long standing. Now, there's a lot of, uh, uh, what is it, cookie cutter houses here. But you'll notice first, these are no regular houses. They are indeed castles. In fact, let me show you the first home. Let's, you know, let's walk around the property here. Now, you'll see, you know, we have a lovely neighborhood to walk through. You have some, some um, <laughs> barren soil here. I'm sure they're planning to grow something, some flowers. Uh, but this first home is massive, let me tell you. It has a nice little backyard, little gated area that, you know, leads uh, to these wonderful views along the fence. And right over here, you have your little privacy uh, of these trees where you can just walk in from the side and come into your own. Walk into the side and come into your own. Motherfucker. Ah, okay, it's fucking the trees. Let's retake that shot. And come in inside and you have your very own courtyard, right? Full of statues, a fire pits for everyone to come and enjoy, as well as some potted plants here. You have your own home garden, but that's not even the best part yet. The best part is the main house, okay? As soon as you walk in, bam, beautiful hallways. Um, very already already furnished now you can add your own little taste of course but we have a large table for all your guests to come and sit down and have dinner together uh, you know of course I'm gonna sit at the head of the household because that's damn son don't step on the table with your stinky ass feet okay and of course we have these marble uh, tops here for your kitchen counters with all your wares you know for all your dishes and all your good things you have a refrigerator a juicer an oven and more now this is one part of the house okay um you have your grill right here as well I meant to say that earlier but this is only one part of the house okay there are more, many more sections to it now if we go upstairs right we have the first bedroom which is actually my bedroom Welcome to my, my crib this is this is MTV cribs right here you can check out my dope ass table right site so, but actually this is a very lovely home and if you just walk right out here you have your balcony where you can sit down and watch everybody else you know and just uh sit and relax after a long 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 day of uh working hard building stuff we have our lovely bed um uh, bedroom you know our little couches so we can have company over but then as well as your own personal uh bathroom which is a little walk-in it's an open concept but it's still um you know we can still have a little privacy i said we can still have a little privacy uh -huh. get out anyways you can take your dookie and look outside the window watch silas do whatever this stupid thing he does and then flush and then wash your hands after you're done because we want to keep everything sanitized now let me show you the third floor. Now, this is a special floor because it is the study room. Actually, it's more than that. It's also a hangout spot as well, as well for the desk here. You know, if we need to do some late night work on the computer and more room to just put whatever you like in here. You know, it's 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 an open concept, right? And as soon as you walk out, you have this beautiful balcony to stand out and you know enjoy the scenery but that's not all 
This is only one section of the house. This is a th almost of eight part house. Now, you have many entry ways to get in here. Of course, you have the main door over there. Then you have this side door that comes out into the street. This was actually what we were looking at earlier when we came off here. Now, when we walk back in and we go this way, we actually have our workstations. We have another, uh, it looks like an oven, but it actually, this is a sm metal smelter. Uh, this is for when you need to, you know, melt down your irons and coppers and what your whatnots. And of course, we have the lumber mill. Um, had to be in place this because, you know, it took a lot of work uh, to put together. Of course, we have a loom, uh, our little spinning wheel and our loom, you know, for any fabrics. So we make everything from home. Actually, we're going to step into the second bedroom. Uh, welcome to a little piece of heaven, okay? This is actually actually my roommate's Mazzy's home uh, or room if you look over here we have of course your private bathroom that you can come in and there's no sink because the sink is right out here we wanted to make sure we had enough room for the toilet and the bathtub so of course Mazzy has her own little bedroom that she you know uses and, and decorates herself of course she can add more things to it if she wants to but uh She's decided to go into a simpler living. So if actually her door actually walks out again to the main street, not the main street. Actually, this is one of the side streets uh, right across from the stables. And then if you walk back in and climb the stairs, guess where you'll end up? That's right. At the very top of the tower where you have another fire pit, some more seating. But this time you're on a tower so you can watch that sunset with all your friends and families that are not here. Anyways, you have see more seating over here. If you wanted to eat a meal out here, you're more than welcome to. Um, but just enjoy the views and enjoy the, the fire and enjoy your food. And just enjoy the scenery of Perfect Parks. Now, this is just home one, ladies and gentlemen. We're not even finished, okay? There's another part to this home. Okay, if we come out here, as I showed you earlier, we go out to the courtyard. But now, we have this section. Another room, another bedroom, um, and this is an open bedroom. No one's been assigned here. Okay, we're renting this room out for, guess what? $900. $900 because you have your own personal bathroom, your own toilet, your own sink here. You can, you can basically do it all. Keep your hands clean. Keep your hands clean. Keep your butt clean and keep your insides uh, cleared. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Okay, and then we got a wardrobe here for, for all your needs. And we obviously, we can add more things if you wanted to. Uh, it's really up to the person. You know, we have a jellyfish decor as well. I think that's pretty cool. But if you walk up the stairs, we have another jellyfish, blue jellyfish. And if we can climb up all the way to the top, we'll get to another in our last fire pit at the home, which keeps the bandits out, honestly. And they know we out here. We're thugging it out come up here and we'll fuck you up now that we've looked inside of home one hope you guys enjoyed uh we're gonna check out our second home hello sir and it, honestly it's just caddy corner off of home one now this house i believe was built a second to this home now you can tell this is a massive castle let's take a walk around it now we can see that we have a very tall tower with this home you can see there are some steps that lead up to the very top of the tower which is a feature we'll show you here in a bit but also we have different areas that you can go into the home and step inside of course so we're going to go into the main entrance is right here. This home, as you can see, is a little empty down at the bottom because, this, again, this is a home for sale and it's a bit of an open concept. So it's up to you what you want to put a kitchen, a bathtub, a bathroom or a bedroom. It just really is up to you. The, the possibilities are endless with these high ceilings as well as these interesting rooms. So. The first room I'm going to take you is this stairwell, which actually leads to the very top. But we're going to only go up one floor because I'm going to take you to the bedrooms, okay? So this is a Japanese-style castle where the, the walls are actually Japanese, but the castle itself is medieval. Now this is an interesting mix because you have your open concept as you know you would and your Japanese homes. 
but you have this stone floor, so it's a bit modern Japanese castle. You know, uh, I don't know what to say. It's just a mess. No, it's actually an interesting mix-up. So, of course, you have your bathroom here, you know, your, your, your half wall so people don't peek on you as you're going or taking a bath or whatever. Uh, you have this little cattywampus corner, which is um, really, you, you can be used for seating area or you can just put down, you know, a lamp. Uh, and then, of course, if you walk here, you have two bedrooms, okay? They're right next to each other. Uh, this is actually Guernsey's bed. You can see, you know, he's got his little seating area, his desk, his bed, as well as his wardrobe. And he can add more storage again, but it's really up to the, the you know, the, the renter. Over here, we also have another bedroom, which is open as of this moment. So, you know, if anybody wants to rent out this room, this will be uh, up for $750, you know, with all the amenities included, which includes nothing but the bedroom you will have to build. Let's go up to the third floor. Now, you saw that these steps led up to here. This is actually from the first floor. So you saw we went into a full circle, walked up that way, and got up to this, this way. So I'm gonna take back, I'm gonna take the way we came back, uh, which is right over here, which is this doorway, and we're gonna go up to the very top, okay? Now, we have more room. This is not the end of the castle. We have a lot of outside seating area uh, if you want to, you know, have your friends over, as well as at the very top, we have some fun uh, seating areas right next to a fire pit and, of course, again, where you can look at the sunrise or sunset. Interesting, right? Well, that's not all. You can walk, <laughs> excuse me, you can walk down the steps, head out to the main street, and go out into town. So that was house number two. Now, let's go to an original home. Built by hand, by eye, and with a lot of patience and practice. Does that roof look a little uneven? Fuck. Anyways, home number three is another perfect home that you might want to bring your friends and family for a vacation or maybe even to live, depending on what you want to do. Now, this home is furnished. Uh, we have a grill, you know, the kitchen counter, the marble tops, and the fridge here. We have Meowsicles, who seems to be stuck on the wall. How are you doing, bud? Of course, you have your seating area over here to bring your friends and family over. And, uh, and just, you know, have a scene, have a nice chat with your buddies um, or fam. And then also, we have our eating area, you know, where we get together and have some laughs, have some drinks, have some food, and have some memories built. Oh, no, I'm stuck on the wall. Don't tell the homeowners about this. There, it's fixed. Shut up. <laughs> so now we're going to go on to the third floor after that debacle. And we're going to see our first bedroom. A little bit of open concept. Again, they can add more storage if they wanted to. You know, we got our desk, our, you know, a little bedroom for Sprocket and our trunk here. And in fact, we have another thing that's interesting. We have our own personal bathroom right in here. You know, sink, shower, and tub. All not in that order. So that's the second floor. Let's go up to the third floor. Okay, now I want to remind you this home was not a blueprint, this was actually made by hand. So don't judge the holes too much. Um, anyways, we're up on the second floor now, and we have another bedroom again. It's an open concept. We have our bed, our storage, and uh, we don't really have a desk that much, but we do have our own personal bathroom. Uh, as well, so you know, everybody seems to get their own bathroom in this home, which is pretty convenient. So, uh, this is one of the most convenient, well laid out buildings that I've stepped on to so far. Uh, and to be honest, it's a uh, it's it's a good it's a good home to start out with. Uh, and then if we go up to the very top. We have our very last uh, room of the entire building, which honestly, I can't even count this as a room because it's partly outside and inside, but the views here are amazing. So, you know, you have your, your snowy mountains to the south here, and then over here at the east, you have your plain, uh, grassy lands, and of course, right over there, you have some hills to watch. And you can come back over this way to watch this as well. Um, so you you have a lot of views in this in this uh, part of Lego Fortnite land. Starting bid is around 1.5 million. Yeah, it seems like a lot, but think about what you're getting. You're getting 
not one, not two, but four different floors. Now let's move on to home number four. First we step in, of course, uh, this one is actually not furnished yet, but it is open idea concept, so it's up to the owner to really furnish it, but we do have a nice area up at the top and a nice little window in the private section that someone can use. But not only that, it also has a balcony. So, home number four, not too exciting, but it's just as beautiful and spacious. Now, home number five is gonna blow you away. Number five's got its open court like first home, but this one is a little smaller, but trust me, you won't be thinking about size. Anyways, as soon as you come in, you have this comfortable walk-in center where you can have your friends over. You have a little bathroom back here with an open concept, but it still is enough for some privacy. You have this beautiful entrance. Anyways, we have this beautiful entrance, of course, of this home, as well as we have these nice statues. And Hi. how are you? These bitches always want to stay somewhere new. Anyways, <laughs> close the door on them. <laughs> this is our first room. Of course, it has its own furniture here, but it's also open to more if they, uh, you know, new person wants to bring in theirs. Um, this is just one of the first rooms. If you go upstairs, we have our kitchen, which is interesting design to put the kitchen on the second floor. But seeing as that this was the most open bedroom, uh, it, it made sense. And so they put the kitchen upstairs. So instead of, you know, eating downstairs, we actually just meet up and meet our friends down here. Right? Right. Of course, lastly, you have the bedroom over here. Now, there is plans to build a second bathroom, um, or a third, I should say. But seeing as this has a bathroom right here, um, and there's room, honestly, there's room probably for it third one in here if they wanted to but i think that would be adding too much into the building anyways this is our one of our very second to last homes to visit finally we have another one uh and another home which is actually right over here which is our other cookie cutter home now this one has a tree in it so for all my Arboreans, this is for you. All right. It's done. Anyways, now if you walk here, you have your seating area, you know, people come in and visit and say, hello, how are you doing, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but of course, down here, we have the kitchen that you can, you know, make your meals down here. You know, there's more room for more utilities, like a juicer if you wanted to, or chairs, you know, around the table. But then if you come into the first, the top, the second floor, you have your bedroom, you have your, um, this is actually Silas's bed, uh, and you have your open balcony here, if you want to hang out and watch the views from out here, going out at night, uh, but then also you have your private bathroom. So you have your bathtub in one room, but you have your toilet and sink in the other, which is a nice little, uh, mix up, nice little, little twist in this area. So that's, uh, one of the final homes. And of course, you have a door to the back uh, where you can step down and take a walk into the, another feature that's really close by. <laughs> the other feature here is that you can walk back here and actually do a little bit exploring. You know, we have a park here, of course, but then we have another uh, interesting uh, little section. Uh, we have these stables, but actually it uh, uh, doubles up as a warehouse where you can have all of our tools here to work, whatever you need to build or work on. It's all right here. And then, you know, we have our, our farms here for our animals, which we don't have because we haven't made any, we haven't made any bait. But if you come up here, you have more tools. Uh, stuff to work on so this is our workshop area but also this is has interesting secret 
if you walk to the back side of this area, right, you just walk through one of these doors. You have your seating area, of course, to hang out and watch the storms pass by or just have a little drink, you know, under the protection of the roof. Pretty nice uh, little feature, a little nice uh, refuge, right, after a long days of hard work. After long days of hard work. Uh, but then also you have this area, which is interesting. This was made uh, just for invasion. So people would have a place to escape in case uh, uh, an invading army will come. But they won't come because we got Mr. Meowsicles over here. Uh, anyways, if you walk down and walk a little further past these white pillars, you'll get to the entrance of the underground part of the city. Now, this is something that not a lot of people, you know, have in, or could say that they have in their city. Uh, but first, we're going to go down this way, and we're just going to travel. And as you can see, we're going a very long way um, because we're about to pop up somewhere that you didn't think was possible. But watch. We just walk through this way, you know, walk down some steps, go up some other steps, and we have a doorway up here. I'll open the door. Boom, boom, and we're in the back part of house number, I forget which house number this was, but you can see this is actually in our backyard for this home, this castle tower home, right? So, if you ever need to make an escape, you just open the door, click that open, oh, click that open, go down the stairs, and go to your left, and you can make your quick getaway. But this one, this is not the only place it leads to. If you go back the other way. It leads to another exit, and this this exit is going to surprise you, I bet. Guess where we are. Back by our first home. That's right. So, there's a lot of ways to move in and about in this area. Uh, and I believe this is the perfect place for you to come and live at. So, what'd you guys think of the tour? Let me know down in the comments below. And uh, make sure to check out more videos about LEGO Fortnite. I hope you enjoy today's show episode. And would you live here? Drop your comments down below. For now, I'm going to build up.